Dart throwing, activity. <laughs> Bowling, activity. The other day I saw a cup stack. Hey, hey man, <laughs> what's up? Let me put this on pause. All right, man, you know what? Let's talk about this speaker, man. This is the JBL Clip 4, and I hate it. The reason why I hate it so much is because it costs so much, and I actually really, really like it. In fact, I don't like it, I love it. I did not know that this was going to be my go-to speaker to like carry around with me all day. I didn't buy it for that. I bought it strictly for, why am I holding this comb? Hold on. <laughs> so <laughs> I bought it strictly for doing YouTube videos. I wanted to do some comparisons with smaller speakers, and I ended up buying this one because this one was the hot new thing on the market at the time. And turns out it has become my favorite walk around Bluetooth speaker. And it's mostly because of the form factor. Actually, I think that's the thing about it. It's the form factor. It's this clip right here, man. So I've done other videos with here with this. So I won't be doing like a sound test for you guys. Go back and watch those. There's plenty of videos out there that I've actually done with that. What I'm gonna tell you about is my real world, uh, real life usage. So it just, it just kind of just travels with you. It's small enough I'm not gonna say stick this thing in your pocket because you will look weird, but it will fit inside of your pocket, even your back pocket. And, uh, but it, it's designed to kind of clip on a bag or something. You see that right there? So you clip it on a bag and I've even clipped this thing on my belt loop as I was listening to audiobooks and just kind of walk around the yard or something like that, doing yard work and stuff if I didn't want on headphones. So the clip, I mean, the clip, it's, it's like, it's the clip. <laughs> I can't stress to you how important and, and functional this dang clip is. But that's why I love it is because it can always be with you and you don't have to worry about, you know, how to set it up or, you know, where you're going to put it and stuff like that. You just clip it on a bag. Now, as far as like audio quality, it's great audio quality, good enough bass, good enough mis uh, mid range and, and great quality highs. What I use mine for is uh, today I actually I have Google Nest everywhere. So I usually listen to my music kind of like ambient style, like through the house. But I wanted to watch some. Uh, some comedy on Netflix. Uh, I'm just watching different, actually YouTube. I was watching some comedy on YouTube and I, I brought my tablet in here, connected it to the speaker and hung my speaker up in the shower. And I was listening to the comedy and every once in a while I could just kind of peek over the little shelf and see what was going on, like the guy or girl on stage. But I could hear this thing loud and clear inside of the shower. And I wasn't worried about, you know, getting soap on it or getting, you know, getting it soaked in water or nothing like that. I just, you know, shaved my head, washed my body and splish splash. And now I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> but this thing has been really nice to have around. The fact that it cost $69 and I had to pay full retail for it, that really sucks. And I hate it, but I don't regret it, I guess, because the money's gone. But because, you know, and I feel like I'm getting great value out of it. Hey, it's JDL from the future. I'm sitting here editing this video and I realized I forgot to tell you the one drawback from this uh, speaker that I wish it had, especially at the price point. It, you can't do calls on it. It doesn't have like a speakerphone functionality. You can't take phone calls. I would love to just kind of sit this thing right here at my desk and, you know, have it connected to my phone and just take some phone calls when it was needed. So yeah, there's that. Now, do I think it's worth 70 bucks? Well, let me tell you like this. Everything is worth what someone else is willing to pay. So in my case, if I had it to do all over again, would I pay 70 bucks? I would have to say yes. And here's why. Not because I actually think it's worth 70 bucks because 70 bucks is a lot of money when you're getting something this small. But when you factor in the functionality of it and, and how that same functionality uh, just kind of almost allows and, and makes you want to use it more often. You get more money or you get more value for your money. Yeah, you can just find that cost. And that's just what I did. Uh, a few years ago, I bought the, um, what was it? The UE Wonder Boom. It's a small little, you know, can style speaker. It was 99 bucks. I bought it retail. And I hate it that I did that because who wants to spend a hundred bucks on a speaker that small? But I ended up using that thing all the time. It sounded fantastic. It had three, well, I still got it. It's in my garage. Um, it has 360 sound and it was small enough to throw in my bag when I was going to travel. I threw it in the bag and we would hang out on the beach with that thing and it'd just be hanging there from the little, you know, cabana thing, just, you know, jamming music. And then when it was time to go walk around the resort, I had it clipped on because it has a little built-in lanyard. I had it clipped on my backpack. This speaker, it does not sound as good as far as like surround sound, I guess you would say, as the Wonder Boom or even the Wonder Boom 2. But the, the form factor, man, you can just clip that mug right there on your backpack if you got like a D-ring or something or if you made like a, you know, like a 550 cord deal. 
uh, yeah, man, the form factor. It's all, you're, you are literally paying for the form factor. JBL tends to overprice all of their products because they are strictly selling their name. This is not app, app connected. I mean, you could get a Soundcore speaker with app connectivity so you can EQ it and update it and everything else. And it's gonna sound fantastic and possibly even better than the JBL Clip 4 for literally half or even one third of the price of this thing. And that's a great value from a company like Soundcore. But right here, I think you're really paying for functionality. Nowhere else are you getting this clip. You know, there's plenty of speakers with lanyards or little loops to where you can clip a D-ring or a carabiner to it, but that's you adding something extra to that form factor when JBL has kind of just done it all in one go. You know, you just, you know, it has the lay flat design, so you can just lay it flat on a table, or you can just clip it somewhere and just go on about your business. In my case today, <laughs> I'll probably end up using this thing again today because I'm not done laughing. But in my case today, first thing in the morning, I'm sitting here clipping this thing or hanging it in my shower. So you're going to get plenty of use out of this thing. So even right now, and I think this thing has been out like two months already, and it's still retail price. There are no sales on this thing. <laughs> And I hate it. I freaking hate it. I hate the fact that I have to tell you that it's okay to buy this thing at $70. But hey, if, if you got the money and you want to buy it, go for it, man. I think you'll find great value in it. I think you'll really enjoy it. It's just that it sucks. And I hate that it costs that much money. But you got to pay for what you want. And this form factor, this is where it's at, man. I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but I do know it's hot in here. It's kind of muggy because I just got out of the shower. Don't you hate when you can't stop sweating, especially especially the bald? Shout out to all the bald dudes who can't stop sweating all day and it just runs down your face. Because <laughs> I don't have the you don't have the hair to catch your sweat. All you people with hair, you're nasty because your sweat just builds up in your hair and it's just being nasty and mildewy. Bald guys, it just runs down and we wipe it. It's gone. <laughs> Get out of here, man. I'll see y'all at the studio. Whoa, 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 let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing, and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Man, it'd be the ones closest to you. I'll see how you are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?